Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you six latest defense updates. Number one, Tejas MK1 should get tech updates after every 40 aircrafts. Air Commander Kabindra, Kabindra, Kabirandra Muthana Punappa, a distinguished figure who helped the National Fight Test Center, has put forth a compelling argument for continuous technological evolution in the Indian Air Force upcoming test Tejas MK-1A program. As discussions for follow-up orders of 100 Tejas MK-1 fighter jets are gaining momentum, Ponappa emphasizes the imperative of integrating updated features into the aircraft as technology evolves even during the production phase. Next. SAB to offer Gripen E in response to IAF's RFP in MRFA tender. SAB, the Swedish aerospace and defense company, has thrown its hat into the ring by offering 114 state of the art Gripen E fighters as part of its response to the upcoming Indian Air Force request for proposal. The introduction of Gripen E could Herald a new era of next generation combat readiness providing India with a cutting edge air superiority advantage. Next. Indian Army contingent leaves for exercise bright star. Indian Army contingent comprising of 137 personnel departed for exercise bright star 23 scheduled to be conducted from 31st August to 14th September at Mohammed Naguib military base in Egypt. It is a multinational tri-service joint family military exercise that will be led by U.S. CENTCOM and Egyptian Army. It was initially conceptualized as a bilateral biennial training exercise between the U.S. and Egypt during the Camp David Accord, to, Accord of 1977. Next. Geetika Srivastav gets charge of Indian High Commission in Islamabad. Geetika Srivastav, currently serving as Joint Secretary at the headquarters of Ministry of External Affairs, will be India's new charge of charge the affair at its High Commission in Islamabad. People familiar with the matter said on Monday. Next. Chapter on National War Memorial in Included in Class 7th NCRT Curriculum. A chapter on National War Memorial Homage to Our Brave Soldiers has been included in the NCRT Curriculum of Class 7 from this year. The Defence Ministry said on Monday, The objective of this initiative jointly undertaken by Defence and Education Minister is to inculcate the values of patriotism, devotion to duty and courage and sacrifice among school children and increase the participation of the youth in Indian in uh, India nation building, it said. Next. India will send female Robert Vyomitra to space in Gaganyan mission, says Science Minister Jitender Singh. Minister of State of, for Science and Technology Jitender Singh has provided eagerly awaited updates on India's prestigious Gaganyan mission which aims to send Indian astronauts into space. The minister revealed that the trials for the Indian Space Research Organization Gaganyaan mission are set to kick off in the first or second week of October. The Gaganyaan mission represents a significant leap in India's space exploration endeavors. The second phase of this mission is particularly intriguing, involving the launch of Vyomitra, a humanoid robot developed by ISRO. The name Vyomitra is a fusion of two Sanskrit words, Vyoma meaning space and Mitra mi meaning friend. Unveiled on January 22, 2020 at the Human Space Flight and Exploration Symposium in Bangalore, Vyomitra is designed to simulate human functions and interaction in space. Thank you.